In this tutorial, I will show you how you can use datetime structure in c -sharp .net. Datetime structure is a very powerful feature of c -sharp .net that provides you the flexibility to express the date and time of the day. It includes different constructors such as the default date and time. It also tends the feature of taking a type of calendar from a user. And also, you can provide universal local time or coordinated universal time to the constructor. It also contains different properties such as you can get the date, day, day of the week, hour, kind, millisecond, and year using these different properties. It also contains different methods which helps you out in adding, subtracting the days, hours, milliseconds, minutes, months, seconds and ticks to the current date of the constructor. This is a really powerful feature by which you can interpret it with various formats. So I will show you how you can use it in c -sharp .net. So in order to use it, I will create a default date and time constructor and I will just name it date time and you can see that you can provide the year, month, day, hour, minute, second depending upon the constructor, you can create the date and time of your choice. So I will just create simple date and time where the year will be 1990, the month will be July and the day will be 10. Now if you want to interpret this date, you want to display it on the screen, you will be seeing here that you will get 1990 July and 10. So 10 July 1990. As you will be noticing that we haven't provided the time, so here by default we are having 12 am. Now let's customize this a little bit further. I will provide our which will be basically 9 and the minute will be 0 and the second will be 0 so this will by default comes out to be 9 am and if I am interested in 24 hours pm so it will be something like 7 pm Now date time do contains different properties and methods. So the first one is date which is the property of the structure which will give you the date of this current date time object. So the date will be basically 1997 and 10. So let me just print this out on the screen. And you will be seeing that it is giving me the date on the screen in the following format. If you are interested in taking only the day, so this will give you the day of the current date and time, which is 10. And so on the day of the week, hour, millisecond, month, seconds, and so on. Now, since I have provided here a simple date time here, let's say I am interested in another.
and I will just pass the today date and time. So we'll just print it on the screen. And you see I will be having 26 July and 15. But if I am interested in the current instant of the time, I will just post the now property. It will give me the exact time as 7.58 pm of 26 July 2015. So I am having these two times. This one is round about, if I am not wrong, 7 pm and this will be current time. Let's say I am interested in the time span between these two times. So there is another structure called time span which is in the system class and it provides the flexibility of calculating the time span between these two date and times objects. So just subtract the first and the second ones and you see that if I just roughly print this on the screen I will get a non human readable output on the screen which I cannot interpret so if I'm interested only in let's say hours, so it will give me the hours between these two times. So the difference between these two times is only one. If I'm interested in the days, it will give me nine one four seven days. And if I'm interested in or two days which will give me an exact figure of 9047 and some digits in decimals if you want the accurate date you can get it from the total days property So let's say I'm interested in getting these total days and I will just go for days and I will divide it by 365 so I will get the number of years which is 25 so the date and time two and the date and time object two contains different times and this will give me the number of years between these two date and time objects so now you can create sort of simple edge calculator where a user will provide here And then, so user will just provide the year, month, and day, and this will gives us the exact number of years the user is. So let's just pass it the year here and the month and day here. And just for the sake of
so let's say user is prompted of the air Just say So user will give year, month, and day, and it will give you the age of the corresponding user. So let's say the year is 1995, the month is 12, and the day is 3. So the age of that person is 19 years. You can also play around various So it will give the user its age in minutes and so on. So as I have already mentioned that there are different constructors available, different properties you can utilize then. In the next tutorial I will show you some more operators and methods you can use with this data structure and I encourage you to go through the documentation so you can further explore it. Thank you for watching.